Welcome to Circus Animation. And congratulations on choosing today's most popular format, that is, animation. It's going to be easy. First, we'll take the polygons and the z-axis and enable rasterization on the anisotropic filtering, anti-aliasing the UV coordinates and utilizing the reverse kinematic. Ah, uh, but say, you don't look like you're following. Relax, we're just pulling your leg. Animation is nowhere near as hard as those science-type people would like to make out. It's really quite simple, and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Let's start from the top. Just sit back and relax while I guide you through the circus animation process. Suppose you finished your script and sent it off to us. First thing we'll do is send you back some movie. All you need to do is choose which one you like. After all, we need to narrow it down from the endless possibilities available to you. It's like choosing your favorite flavor at the ice cream store. Mmm, pistachio nut. That's my favorite. Oh. You chose blueberry and peanut butter. Now, our job is to give you an idea as to what that's going to taste like, even before you buy it. And we'll do just that with a thing called concept drawings. Here, any comments are welcome. And we may just do this again and again until you're absolutely happy, or until our pigeon's wings get tired. Suppose you're happy, then it's time to start storyboarding. It's just a bunch of drawings showing you the story. Here you can comment on the layout and the general flow. Don't worry about the sketchy drawings. This isn't what it's going to look like in the end. But no matter how good a drawing is, it will never show you how fast a character walks or how the camera moves exactly. And that's why we take these drawings and put them inside a computer machine and turn them into a 2D animatic movie. Say, this even has sound. That'll sure make it easier for you to comment on the timing of the story. But this is as far as we can go with pencil and paper. Now we have to move into the world of the computer machine and create a 3D animatic movie. This is all very fancy, but brother, it doesn't look like anything we've drawn. <laughs> no, sir. That's because we don't have any of our characters made yet. Or what we in the computer world call models. Just like a potter, we start with a ball of clay and push it and pull it and push and twist and shape it until we get what we want. Done. It's a model, all right. But why is it grey? That's because we haven't painted it yet. Before we can do that, we need to take care of a few things. But what are those things? Well, you see those little green dots? We call them UVs. And look at what a mess they're in. Before we can paint that model, we need to straighten out these little fellas. It's just like hiding a shirt. So, can we paint the model now? No, not quite. One last thing before we get on to coloring. We call it rigging. Imagine our models like a car, but without an engine. Won't go very far now, will it? Rigging is the process of putting the engine in and making it move. Let's try it out. Oh, look at that little fella go. And guess what? We're now ready for color. We'll probably send you some pictures of what that little fella looks like now, in full color. Here you get to tell us if he's wearing the right shirt. It's been a pretty smooth ride up to now, so let's just throw a spanner in the works. Suppose you wanted to change the little guy and make him a girl. Or what about a horse? Or half horse, half girl. Or half girl, half boy, half tank. Uh-oh. What does that mean to make changes like that? Well, the modeling itself won't be that hard, but we'll lose all those UVs and rigging that we've just done. It's like changing the plumbing after you've put up the wallpaper. For this reason, it's important to sign off every step. So let's do the job we set out to do. Animation. We'll be sending you a series of movies showing you our progress. It's up to you to look at the timing, the poses, expressions and camera movement and let us know what you like and don't like. But hang on, why is it grey again? I thought we were past this. You see, in the computer world, we work with simple previews. To see it in colour, we will need to render it and that takes time. 
rendering? What is that thing? Well, a movie is really just a series of pictures played back really quickly in front of your eyes. This hasn't changed in the computer world. For the computer to make a movie, it needs to render out each picture and another and another, and this takes time. But before we render it, we need to switch on the lights. Just like a real movie set, we place lights around our sets to give our models the right look. Some of them are called key lights, floodlights some of them, backlights, fillers, and we can even turn the shadows on or off. Now we can render it. Remember how we said it's a slow process? Well, that's why we use rooms full of computer machines that we call the render farm. Down on this farm, we put the unrendered model in one side, wait a day or so, and out comes a rather smart-looking chap. But we can't show them to you just yet. We also need to render out everything else. The sky, the hills, the trees, the roads, the clouds, the bikes, and the trucks. We'll put them together into one movie so you can look at it and tell us what you think of it all. Don't change too much now, only colors. The icing on the cake is a little something we call grading. This is where we tweak the colors just a little more so that we can really get the look you're after. Just one last render where we put it all together and you're done. there. That wasn't half as bad as having your ears watched, was it?